Philip Roth is a racist. Now, Library of America is issuing the complete writings of Philip Roth. And this is unprecedented because they've never done so for a living author. Garrison Keillor recently wrote that Philip Roth should be nominated for the Nobel Prize for Literature. And if you go online, the overwhelming consensus is that he's an American treasure, just incredibly funny and thoughtful and beyond and above almost every other American author, if not all authors. But what no reviewer that I have seen or read has commented on is the inherent racism throughout Philip Roth's writings. I think there could be a number of reasons for these. Uh, one is that once you have some people in the establishment promoting the virtue of a certain artist, the public goes along like sheep and really doesn't read in depth or critically about his work. He is accepted as being great and insightful. But Philip Roth, and I am basing this on his writing, is a racist. And I want to show you just a few examples of the inherent racism in his work and why Philip Roth should not be nominated for the Nobel Prize and why his writing really suffers from a lack of intelligence because in my view, racism is the ultimate sign of a lack of intelligence. So here we're looking at his first novel, Goodbye Columbus. Roth has a character who he does not name, he's just the black boy, and uh, he is referred to throughout as the boy or the Negro, and he's used as a literary device because basically the gist of the story of Goodbye Columbus is that there is a neurotic, sexually frustrated guy about age 19 or so who meets an equally neurotic, sexually frustrated girl. And as they are exploring the boundaries of love and sex, which could be a noble pursuit, I mean, love is the greatest pursuit of all, the contrast here is with savage eroticism. And there is something that Philip Roth is trying to convey that is quite noble about savage eroticism. So what he uses as a literary, de literary device is a black boy who goes into the library and masturbates in the stacks to drawings of Gauguin. But where the inherent racism is, is in the depiction, the objectification, and the fetish-like descriptions that Roth uses in describing this black boy. Uh, so it, he uses language that is very contrived. Uh, Roth seems never to have met a black person, but he, what he tries to do is put in dialogue that sounds like he believes a black person would uh, sound like. So the boy says, hey, uh, where's the heart section? The what, I said, the heart section. Ain't you got no heart section? He had the thickest sort of Southern Negro dialect, and the only word that came clear to me was the one that sounded like heart. How do you spell it? I said, heart, man, pictures, drawing books, where you got them? You mean art books. So the inherent racism of Philip Roth is in his pretentious depiction of black people. Now, you can read um, all 
this novel yourself and you'll see how shocking and disgusting it is. There is um, another example I'll just quickly show you. You can go to The Power of Thanksgiving and uh, here there is a discussion, a black guy. Uh, well, Mrs. Reaganhart, said Blair, whose father was a highway commissioner in Pennsylvania, whose mother was a big shot in the NAACP and whose masks were too, Alabama nigger and uppity nigger. The depiction and the use of the N-word, uh, I know it can be used in a literary sense. Um, Huckleberry Finn is the perfect example of how offensive language is used for a literary purpose. But Roth uses it in a sense of ignorance. There are two types of racists, in my view. There are the blatant racists. The stereotype would be the Southern whites who are racist uh, with the Confederate flag and so forth uh, against blacks. But the more insidious racist is the East Coast intellectual racist who believes a, that they have a sense of superiority, so much so that they can fetishize and uh, intellectualize the black experience, having no understanding of it at all and turning it into a farce. Philip Roth should be recognized, in my view, as a racist, and this, in my view, takes away, detracts from the merits of his books. There are many other things that one could argue detract from its merits, but racism has never been commented on or discussed as far as I can see, and it's about time it is. Philip Roth, Racist.